Hello everyone, good morning. Before going to start today's session, okay, just recap of the last session. It's like, what is snowflake? So any idea what is snowflake? Anyone? Snowflake is a cloud-based platform. So it's an on-premises uh, data warehouse. Data okay. yeah. Cloud-based data warehouse platform. Yeah, introduced in 2012. Yes. So mainly we are going to use it for data storage, data processing, and ana analytics. Yes, analytical solutions. Yeah, it built on the AWS Azure GCP. Yes. It built on top of AWS Azure. Azure. GCP. GCP. Correct. It supported to structured yes. data, unstructured data, semi structured data. Yes, it is going to support structured, semi structured, unstructured. Is this as model? Yes, it's yes. very, very important one. It so, is this as model. Yes. yes. It is a SAS model. So it's very, very important, guys. Okay. Software as a service. So it's a cloud based data warehouse platform. And mainly we are going to use it for data storage and data processing and analytical solutions. It is built on top of AWS, Azure, or GCP. So yesterday we have seen how this is going to work. Okay, while creation of account, we need to select this platform. That is very important. And next one is it is going to support structured data, semi-structured data, and unstructured data. And it is a SaaS model. You no need to install any software. Okay. So that kind of flexibility we have. Okay, that kind of flexibility we do have. Okay, now coming to today's session, okay. So any idea what is database? Anyone? So database is nothing but it is a collection of data. Okay, it's a collection of data that is called database. So database contains data only. What kind of data it is? Okay, it's like structured data, semi-structured or unstructured. So if you talk about Instagram and Facebook, okay? So every day we are going to see the reels, right? Okay, the same kind of things. Where it is going to store? It is going to store it in a database. It is going to store it in a database. It is one of the data storage location. It's a data storage location. I'll give you an example, okay? Data storage location. First, try to understand. Simple definitions, okay? Database is nothing but it's a collection of data. So here, data storage location. So if you talk about database here, our laptop. So in our laptop, what we are doing? We are going to store our data. So this is called one of the database. Next, what is data warehouse? So I know about database, then what is data warehouse? Okay, what is data warehouse? See, here also we are going to store the data. Okay, so here also we are going to store the data, but the purpose is different. But the purpose is different. Okay, but the purpose is different. So what is the different purpose here? So here, 
mainly we are going to store historical data. This is very, very important. Historical data for analytical solutions. Historical data with analytical solutions. It's like large volume of data. Large volume of data. Okay, I'll give you one real time example here. So it's a bank, okay? We have a bank. You'll go to bank and you're going to deposit, okay? You're going to deposit 5K. So your previous balance is 2000, it's like a 2K, which I have given here. Observe, two plus five, it is going to add your total balance is 7K. So this and all, it is going to store it in database. Database. It's like real-time transactions. See, whatever the real-time transactions, which it is available, okay? It is available in database. Okay, we are going to store all the real-time transactions in database. In database, it's like very quick. So you will get immediate alerts, okay, immediate notifications, okay? Even you will get SMS, immediate SMS or emails. Now, so this is about database. The same thing, how data warehouse is going to work. See, after six months or after one year, after six months or one year, Okay, after six months or one year, you want to see your mini statement. Mini statement. Okay, the best one is like instead of one year, I'll keep it as 24 months or okay. Okay, you want to generate, you want to see your mini statement for last five years. Last five years. So it may take some time to get it download. Okay, you will log in into, suppose you will log in into net banking. You will log in into net banking. So there we have an option called download statement. Okay, download statement. So here you are going to select from date and to date, okay? This may take two to three minutes to load the data. So why it is not very quick? Because this data is going to store it in warehouses. So that is the reason. So the real-time transactions, we are going to store it in our databases, okay? The historical data, we are going to maintain in warehouse. That is the major difference. Mainly we are going to store historical data in warehouses. Okay, historical data in warehouses for analytical solutions. For analytical solutions, we are going to use this. Are you clear up to this one? What is the database and what is the warehouse? Yes, clear. Any doubts? No. Okay. Now, just observe here. So we have a laptop. So we have different databases. We'll talk about that, okay? I'll tell you. So we have a laptop. So laptop is one of the databases. So inside this, we do have, we do have drives. It's like C drive, D drive, E drive, etc. Okay. So this is called schema. Okay, this is called schema. So now just observe here what I will do. I'll go to my C drive. This is my C drive. I'm going to create new folder. Just give right click. New folder. See VA tech. 
okay we have created one folder that's fine i'm trying to create one more folder with the same name is it possible no see here it is saying like okay the folder name is already exist the folder name is already exist so we cannot create duplicate folder names within same folder same drive within same drive i'll tell you in the databases while creation of uh, databases and schemas also so before this okay try to understand okay we cannot create so that is the reason i want to create the same name okay the folder name should be same but i want to create it in my database only so how we can create you can go to another drive it's like d drive i want to create here see yes we can create it see in c drive also we have va tech is there d drive also we have va tech is there so that is the reason here we have c d e okay it's like logical representation of the databases okay logical representation of the databases that is called schemas so you can create different schemas and you can keep it as the same name so here i'll give you one example so i have my database my database name called bank so this is my db so we are going to create it okay at the end of the session don't worry about this now i want to create a table called emp emp for hdfc bank okay yes we can create it now with the same name i want to create it for icici is it possible no it's not possible because within same database we cannot create we cannot create duplicate table names but i want to use my same name okay for the icic also for that is the reason what we are doing first we have a db it's a bank bank is the database observe carefully now the schema i am going to create i am going to create separate schemas one is for hdfc one is for icici and another one is for access and another one is for sbi so that everyone can create their own tables instead of creating single table for the multiple banks so what they can do they can create different schemas okay their own schemas and they can create their own tables okay this is what we are going to practice okay but try to understand the theory now now here coming to files what about files files contains so okay it is similar to tables so it's very important so what is our database here it's a laptop so what is our drive c d e it's like schemas what is our files it's like tables so tables contains data files contains data right the same way it's a collection of data it's a collection of data so here examples of databases example of db so what are the dbs it's available so anyone has idea so we have rkl mysql Uh, ms sql db2 see there are many in the market okay what about this db2 cybase mongodb cosmos Anna, post crazy scheme. Yes. 
host case see these are the databases okay so these are the databases so it's like same like our laptops okay what are the different brands it is available the same way so we do have hp dell lenovo see same like so what is the purpose what is the purpose of uh, laptops okay so in order to store the data and if you want to write any coding okay you can do it okay there are multiple functionalities right okay you can use it for if you want to edit some videos or okay, something like this the same way so here also we have a different kind of databases it is available in the market but the purpose is same okay but the purpose is same so what is the purpose so the purpose is to perform to perform to store the data to store data the main purpose of database is to store the data only okay store data even if you take rkl or mysql or ms sql the vendors are different but the vendors are different but the functionality is same but the functionality is same now okay how are we going to interact with the database it's very very important so that is the reason okay i want to interact okay i want to load some data i want to insert load means insert guys okay insert some data into database okay into database so how are we going to insert so by using by using sql so this is where sql came into the picture now what is sql sql is nothing but structured query language structured query language see most of the students were saying like okay sql is a database sql is not a database once again sql is not a database okay sql is not a database it's very very important very very important it's not a database sql is nothing but it's a structured query language okay in order to communicate okay in order to communicate with any database with any database we are going to use sql okay i want to i want to insert some data into my sql or db2 i want to connect with ana postgres okay so there we need to use sql so sql is not a database see database is different database what is database it's a collection of data so that is called database so what kind of data we are going to store it's a structured data semi structured data and unstructured data that is up to you but what is sql sql is nothing but structured query language in order to communicate with any database we are going to use sql what kind of communication so it's very important we are going to perform crowd operations what is c here c is nothing but create yes create tables objects okay next r means read 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 the data u update the data and delete the data yes correct delete the data only these are the actions we are going to perform by using sql okay only these are the actions crud operations either you are going to create or you are going to read or you are going to update or you are going to delete so it's very very important sql is a language in order to communicate with any database we are going to use sql sql is not a database in order to communicate with database we need to use sql so how are we communicating by using zoom right the same way it's like for interaction purpose interaction purpose with database to user that's it okay so it is like very similar to english language is okay very similar to english language 
See, if you know basic English, if you know basic English, I mean, if you understand basic English, okay, definitely you can learn SQL. That much easy it is. Okay. All English keywords only we are going to use. You no need to buy hat anything. Okay. Just we can go with the flow like, okay. So how are we speaking? Okay. The same way we can perform these operations. I'll show you later. Now, here, okay, in SQL, there are some sub languages of SQL. Okay, there are some sub languages of SQL. Okay, just observe this diagram. So, here you can see there are five sub languages one is DDL, DML, DCL, DQL and DCL, data definition language, okay, data definition language. So here, if you want to create any tables, if you want to drop any table, if you want to alter, if you want to truncate, then we are going to use DDL commands. This is one thing. Next, there are some DML operations. It's like insert, update, and delete, okay? So we do have merge also. Next, these are called DML. TCL, if you want to commit or if you want to permanently save, if you want to roll back, if you want to revert, then we are going to use TCL. Then what is DQL? Data query language. The 70% of the work which we are going to do it based on select only in our Snowflake. Okay. So in order to read or in order to retrieve Okay, we are going to use this keyword. Next, DCL. Here, if you want to provide some permissions to the user, okay, I want to create new user. I want to revoke the back. Okay, I want to revoke back the access. Suppose you are going to join one of the organization, it's like ABC. So they need to provide some access. So in that case, they are going to grant, grant the access for you. So as soon as you are leaving after six months or one year from this organization, they are going to revoke. They are going to revoke the access. Okay. So this is what we are going to learn. Okay. This is what we are going to learn. So let me write a few things here. Then we'll start with the practicals. The sub languages of SQL. See, these are the basics. Okay, basics are very, very important. Okay. So that is the reason. See, few people know SQL. Few, they don't know. Okay, that is the reason I'm teaching you from the beginning. Okay. Supplying use of SQL. See, what are the sub languages it is available? So we do have DDL, DML. Yes, DML, TC, TCL, DQL, DCL, data. Control. Yes, yes. So here, DDL, data definition language. So here we have a create drop alter truncate. Even we can comment the table, okay, and rename. See, the name itself, it is there, create, okay, in order to create any database. So it is used to, it is used to create database or its objects, 
So what are the objects? Objects in the sense just like we have tables. So going forward, you will get to know what is stage, pipe, okay, functions, some kind of thing, okay, etc. So in order to create, in order to create any database or any schema, we are going to use create keyword. Next, what is drop? It is used to, it is used to delete the objects from database. It is used to delete the object from database. Okay, from database itself, we are going to delete. Next. It is used to alter the structure of database. Structure of database. It's like I want to alter a table. Okay. First three columns which I have created later on, I want to add one more column extra. Yes, we can do that. I want to uh, remove that. Yes, we can do that. Okay. Now, what is truncate? It is used to remove all the records, all the records from a table. Just to remove the records from a table, we are going to use truncate. Next, it is used to add comments. Okay, it is used to add comment to the data dictionary. Next. It is to rename the table name. Not only tables and objects. Okay, I want to rename it. Yes, we can do that. Rename an objects existing in the database. So it's very, very important. Okay, DDL contains it's like create, drop, filter, truncate, and comment and rename. Okay. So this is a theory part. Next. So DML, data manipulation. See the name itself, it is there. Okay, manipulation. So you are going to manipulate the data. Okay, you are going to manipulate. Insert, update, and delete. See, even we no need to write this uh, description also. See, the name itself, it is there. See, insert. Insert means it is used to insert the data into tables update it is used to update the data it is used to update the existing data delete it is used to delete records from a database table, okay? Database table. Now, the very important one, it's like DQL. See, all are important only, but the purpose is different, that's it. Data. Query language or data retrieval language. 
So we do have only one. It's like select. It is used to retrieve or display the records from a table. Display the records from database you can keep. Next. DCL, data control language. So we do have mainly grant and revoke. It is easy to give user access, user access or privileges or privileges to the database. The same thing, it is used to withdraw, okay? It is used to, so withdraw means, okay, re revoking, okay? It draws the user's access, user access. Next, TCL, transaction control. See, what is transaction? Transaction. See, whatever the query, if you are going to perform, right? Okay, that is called transaction. That is called transaction. Suppose I'm going to write select SAR from EMP. This is called one transaction. Select star from EMP, this is called one transaction. If you are going to write this and if you are going to execute this, this is one of the transaction, transaction control language. So mainly we do have commit and rollback. It is used to save permanently. It is used to save transactions permanently. Then what is revoke? It is used to reward the Previous transactions, previous transactions before perform commit operation. See, once you perform commit, okay, that is called permanently save. Then you cannot roll back, okay? So before that, if you want to roll back something, then you can use this, okay? Before commit operations. So now, You know about what is database and what is warehouse, okay? Then what are the different databases it is available in the market? And what is SQL and what is database? What is the major difference? In order to communicate with any database, we are going to use SQL. What are the sub languages of SQL it is available? DDL, DML, TCL, and DQL, and DCL. I'll give you this notes in a video description, okay? As of now, these are the demo sessions, okay? You can take it from there if you want these notes, okay? Now, today, we are trying to create one database, okay, one database and schemas and create one table. So how simple it is, okay, we can see now. So in order to log in into 
your snowflake okay you can use app.snowflake.com or else you can go to your email id let me close this you can go to your email and copy that login url so you no need to install any software Wi-Fi is there. What is an issue? Okay, this is my dedicated URL. If you want to log in, okay, you can use this URL also. Here you need to provide your username. See whatever the username you have set it for, the same one you can use it here. So in order to practice, click on this create button, click on SQL worksheet here. No. So what is the first one? First, we need to create database. So because I want to store my bank details. Okay. I want to store my bank details. First, you need to create a database here. So how to create See The name itself, it is saying like, okay, create database with the name as the name as bank. So the client is asking, okay, the client is asking, okay, client is asking us like, okay, create database with the name as, okay, we have tech dev, dev db or bank, okay, whatever it is. So this is development region. Okay, we need to create. So this is our question. Now, how to create? So it's very simple. So it is not a case sensitive. The queries are not case sensitive, but the data is case sensitive. Either you can write it in a capsule letter or small letter. That's totally fine. Create database, database name. We take dev. or uh, db whatever it is okay this is my syntax okay so if you want to change your database name okay any store you want to create it yes you can create it it's very simple see the question itself all the answers will be available going forward okay that is the reason i told you so it is a it's like similar to english language Similar to English language. Create database and database name. Write it and select this one and run this one. Okay. So this is an option. If you want to run any query, just you need to press this button. Or else select this one and type control plus enter from keyboard. There are two ways we can execute. Okay. Is a shortcut. Yes, right. correct. Okay. Control plus enter is a shortcut. Mm -hmm. Now, see here, database where tech is successfully created. So that means we have created our database. This is my database. So when I try to execute again, it is going to throw an error. See, object, it is already exist. So in this case, what you need to do, okay, you need to drop it. Suppose if you want to create, you need to drop. Let me drop here, suppose. Drop database, database name. 
let me do refresh here see we are take dev bank is there now if you want to drop yes it is deleted okay now again you can create with the same name okay with the same name so instead of doing this okay so what i will do directly create or replace okay create or replace so if it is already there okay if it is already there then it is going to replace it it is already there if it is going to replace you have to be very careful by using replace okay suppose i have created one database in database in this database it contains 50 tables 50 tables if you run this create or replace what will happen okay what will happen it is going to drop okay it is going to drop internally and it is going to create new database so this way you are going to lose this okay but anyway we have a undrop command also here so you can do data recover okay that we will talk about so either you want to use create database or create or replace okay you can use that create or replace database sorry create or replace database so if it is already there then it is going to replace if it is not there it is going to create create or replace now database is created so by default there are two schemas okay one is information schema and an another one is public schema okay fine totally fine now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one table it's called employee table so how to create a table it's very simple create table table name my table name is emp next open braces and close braces okay automatically it will come if you open this now give one enter here okay give one enter so always try to write it in a down okay first one is i want emp number just i'll write it only few columns two or three columns employee number so here we have a data types okay here we have a data types so what is data type data types so in order to create a table okay you are going to decide right okay 101 is my employee id so the name the name it is rajesh okay the class is no company is we take some mobile number something like this some salary okay some points now what is what this kind of data okay how i am going to store this kind of data into my table so for this you need to create data types so this is like integer integer or number you can use integer or number okay integer or number now rajes you can use string or string, or string. yes string or varchar same thing wherever there are some characters okay then you can use varchar or string then again if you want to keep only numbers then you can go with int or number so here we have a decimal right you can use decimal also so how many digits you want to store like 7 comma 2 or 5 comma 2 or whatever it is okay something like this now in order to create simple table okay employee number is an integer okay hint now keep comma the name so name is a string i'm going to keep it or where care of three characters you want you can give okay how many bytes you want where care of 20 next the 
So simply I will keep it as mobile number. It is an integer or okay. So this is my table. Let's try to create this table. Observe here. Now the table is created. If you do refresh here in this public, you can see one table, it is EMP. So this is for suppose for HDFC bank table, I have created this. Now, within the same database, okay, within the same database, I see ICI also, they want to create the table with the same name, with the same name, but different parameters. Okay, they want to add address also here. They want to add address also here. They want to add address also here. Just observe here. See, we are getting an error. That's called employees already exist. We cannot create duplicate names. Okay, we cannot create duplicate names within the same schema. So this is called schema. So that is the reason I have given an example called. So we have a laptop. So inside this laptop, C drive, D drive, and E drive. These are the schemas. Inside the same drive, can we create same folder? No, we cannot create. So, so here also we cannot create with the same name as, okay, in the same schema. So that is the reason we are going to create different schemas here. So we have public, right? Now, what I will do, I'm going to create different schemas. See the name itself, it is there, create schema. Create schema, my schema name is HDFC. One schema I have created. Try to run it. See, HDFC schema is there, but no objects found. So like this, what you can do, you can create as many schemas you want, you can create it. So I want to create not copy now you can see one is for SBI next ICICI axis is there any foreign banks is like Morgan Stanley okay Santander okay we do have different, different. So even if you don't create separate tables and separate schemas, what is the problem here? Just try to understand. So there is an employee ID. Okay. So there is an employees. Okay. There are different banks with the different employees, right? The same way. So employee ID is 101. So this person also, we are going to store it in a same kind of database. Okay. We have only one DB. So here we are going to store. So we suppose you can assume there are three banks. Okay. This person also going to store the data into same table and this person also going to store the data into same table. So here we have a different banks. One is HDFC. So it's like, so everyone can see your data. Even ICIC person also can see your data. Access bank person also can see your data. Our SBA person also can see your data. There is a duplication of data. Also, it will come sometimes. Okay, you are also going to provide the employee ID is 101 and this person also going to provide 101 and this person also going to provide 101. So it is very difficult to identify for which bank is the customer or employee. So that is the reason. So what we are going to do is we are going to segregate it. It's like separate. Okay, we are going to separate schemas first. We are going to create different different schemas. So whatever the schemas it is required, you can create it based on the business requirement. Okay, first try to create the schemas. Now you can see all the schemas are created. Just do refresh here in the left hand side. See here. Now all the schemas are created. Is it difficult to create schemas? No. Is it difficult to create database? No. So only the create, okay, what to create? Either you want to create table 
or you want to create database or you want to create schema yes we can create it okay this is how you can create different different schemas now the same name i want to keep into all the schemas is it possible yes we can do this so in order to create tables okay every time see here so what is the default schema which it is selected so it is there in a drop down section if you click on this one you can navigate into different schemas also see this is the button observe carefully so now we are in a vi tech dev tank okay morgan so here i want to switch into hdfc yes you can switch if you want to switch icic yes you can switch if you want to switch access yes you can switch okay now we are in access if i try to create this okay if i try to create this it is going to create an access schema if you do refresh here if you do refresh here it is in okay icic right okay so not access it is created an access sorry icic if i want to create an access you need to select access again here and you need to run this query so instead of doing this what we can do is okay directly you can mention see now in access there is a table emp so instead of selecting multiple times in the drop down okay if we have 100 schemas is it a good practice to select everything no so what we can do okay i want to create this table just to copy paste so here first you can provide the database name so this is your database name right this is your database place name in editor okay see this is your database vi tech dev bank dot dot where you want to create in hdfc dot emp now like this you can prepare an sqls first now instead of hdfc i want to make it into icici next i want to create in morecon so irrespective of selecting from drop down so what we can do while creation of table so here you can provide db dot schema dot table first one database dot schema dot table name don't get confused what is this we are take dev bank okay why are we giving always okay either you can provide or without providing also it is going to work this is up to you but this is a good practice always database name schema name and table or schemas okay whatever it is now i want to create a table in hdfc yes you can run this query the table is created now if you want to run this query yes it is already exist that's fine now it's a more gone see table also created now i want to see how many tables are available okay so it's very simple so even you can see it from the left hand side okay you need to click this one and you can go to particular schema and you can view here okay see here emp there is one table if you want to create one more table okay i want to create one more table that is called test table so this is called test table i am going to create there is a test table only only numbers i want to print okay number and name yes you can do so as many tables you want you can create it with the specific columns now i want to see tables by using commands okay how we can see show tables show tables is the keyword show tables is the keyword see how many tables are there we have two tables one is emp and one is test what is the schema name what is the database name what kind of it is okay retention time okay going forward you will get to know what is this retention time and everything but try to create database at least five schemas for today okay five schemas just try to create the tables okay you no need to insert any values 
and next class we are going to talk about in detail okay how to create table and how to insert update delete okay next class also it's free based on that you can decide okay based on that it, it, you can decide so first five to six classes it's a sql it's an sql classes only so because here so it's like 70 percent sql 70 percent sql and uh, 30% snowflake concepts and okay we are going to use so this is how our course is going to work okay so most of the classes it will be in a practical mode only okay so this is our demo sessions okay that is the reason i am going to provide in detail okay so what is database and what is warehouse so even in actual classes, I'm going to provide all these class notes to your emails, okay? Automated emails is going to generate on daily basis. That process I'll tell you later. But for today, just practice this one and go through this video once again. If you want this script, okay? This table script and class notes, you can go to our video description. There you can find it out if you want, okay? You are unable to type, right? Okay, what you can do? Just do copy paste and at least execute this queries. Okay. At least execute whatever I have written. Okay. Whatever I have written. Just try to copy paste it from video description. Paste it. Try to execute and see. Okay. What is happening? Okay. It is not a rocket science. Okay. Anyone can learn. It's very easy. But here, the practice and dedication is very, very important. Yeah, that's it for today. We'll see you in a tomorrow session. If you have any doubts, you can ask me now. Yeah, hi, bro. It's a small doubt. Yeah, yes. Yeah, entire Snowflake working on only this account and like any using further sessions in operating system wise, like no, 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 no. Only only this account, only we are this going to account. use. Yeah. Only this account. Yeah, it's a SaaS model, software okay. service, right? We told. Okay. We have Thanks. discussed about. Okay. Yeah, even if you want to implement, right? Yes, we have some, I mean. Yeah, actually, VS I'm Code. Yeah, if you yeah. want to work with VS Code, also see there are some URLs. Okay, yeah. I tell you later how yeah. to use this. Okay, you can integrate Excel. with VS Code also. Yeah, to if Excel, you want to work to with Excel VS Code, for yes, for BBVR, yes, correct. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Even if you want to work with uh, command prompt, okay, I don't want to work with GUI. Just I want to work with uh, command prompt. It's like CMD. So that setup also, I'll tell you, it's like uh, Snow SQL. It's like CLI, command line interface. So here, everything, it is a command. There is no GUI, okay? I think we need to do some setup. Okay. So if you want to work with command line interface, yes, you can work that also. Okay. Oh. So that you are going to learn going forward. That's not a problem. But mostly in organizations also, we are going to use only this interface. So this is an interface where you are going to write your queries and you are going to execute. You are going to see the results. Everything we are going to okay. work here only. So these are the database. Okay, there are a lot of options here. If you go to home, so we, here we have a projects. Okay, if you want to keep everything as a document okay, on daily basis, okay, see here. So this is our class one, suppose. You want to name it as class one. So what is this? Okay, if you want to keep it. Class one, class two, class three, something like this. Yes, you can keep it. So here we can, we do have add data, okay. So you are going to learn. Uh, everything is like from AWS S3, how we are going to load the data. From Azure, there is a data, it is already there. How to move into Snowflake, okay? Everything you are going to learn. And here we have a apps, okay? So anyway, we are not going to use this uh, apps at all, but marketplace, sometimes we are going to use, suppose you want to integrate with some other apps, okay? There are a lot of features it is coming also. Even AI and ML, okay, if they want to use 
our futures and our data models for artificial intelligence and machine, le machine learning, okay, they are going to use. And in order to monitoring, so what is the query, okay, you have written here, like it's a monitoring, right? It's a query history. Okay, I want to see what are the queries which I have performed. Even I don't want to write again and again, okay? See here, so this is the table definition which we have written. If you can click this one, you will get to know. So what you have written and why it is failed also, what is the query profile and query update everything. So here we do have copy history, task. So everything you are going to learn, okay? okay. In actual classes. So here we do have a partner connect also, okay? In order to connect with any ETL tools, so it's like uh, the DBT. So it's a data build tool, okay? In order to see, Fitran is there. It's like ELT tool, Informatica. Okay, that kind of flexibility they have given out. Right? If you want to connect with the many things. So if you go to home, okay. Suppose if you know basic knowledge, and I mean, if you have any basic knowledge on uh, Python, even you can work with the Python also. See here, there is a Python worksheet. If you click this Python worksheet, so here also you can able to get this data. So here you can provide the table name, just you can provide the uh, table name, but we don't have any data, right? Okay, that it be. So we take TB, Morgan, My table name is EMP. So you can run. But as of now, it will give only zero records because till now we, uh, we didn't insert any values. So instead of using this uh, Snowpark, it's like a PY, it's like a Python. So we are using only SQL, okay? So even they have, I mean, we have an options by using data frames and Python also, we can do that kind of flexibility we do have. But mostly we are going to work with yes, scales only. So because that is very, very easy. Okay, compared to another ones. Okay, that's it for today. We'll see you in a tomorrow session. Thank you. Happy learning. If you have any doubts, you can please feel to call me or you can ping me in a WhatsApp group. Yeah, thank you all.